to speak to Mohamed Okda, the director of Insight into Crisis, who joins me now live from Chicago. Good to have you with us. So, first of all, Mohamed, what are your thoughts on this, uh, on the new government that's been appointed, and how far does it or does it not satisfy the demands of the protesters? Well, definitely this new government is going to satisfy any of the protesters, although most ministers don't have any political background. Uh, they all have been picked based on sectarian politics that had plagued uh, Lebanon over the last 30 years. And uh, Hezbollah and its Iranian influence had the majority of the cabinet seats and the control of many ministries in, in the current new government. And that will make the protesters very unhappy. Uh, they have been demanding a technocrat government, a caretaker government, a away from sectarian politics and a government that will tackle the issue of corruption and mismanagement of the finances of the government and the public services away from sectarian politics. And this government basically uh, they consider it as a puppet for uh, the sectarian quota that uh, have been in place and that does not satisfy any of the demands. And also the international community, international banks, they are hoping uh, that this government will try to deliver on some of the mismanagement, but I, I, I seriously doubt that. Yeah, and, and the yeah. key concern here is about the stability of Lebanon. How big are the fears that it could become a failed state if this government or if calm cannot be restored? Well, in a way, if we look at uh, the status of Lebanon over the last 10 or 15 years, uh, they have been plagued by power cuts, uh, very slow internet services, and a uh, threat of cutting down the internet right now, uh, trash collection. So if we consider uh, uh, all of these issues, I would consider Lebanon, uh, Lebanon uh, as to be partially a failed state and uh, the government have been failing a day in and day out to deliver on any of that. But looking at the regional and the geopolitics of the region right now and all the other issues after uh, the assassination of uh, Qasem Soleimani by the U.S. and having Hezbollah as one of the proxy powers for Iran in the region and having a civil war uh, next door in Syria and uh, over a million refugees, Syrian refugees in Lebanon, with a lot of sectarian tension, uh, a lot of issues are facing Lebanon right now, and this government will need to deliver, uh, even that they are picked based on sectarian quota, they need to deliver, and need to deliver very quickly. Uh, otherwise, uh, the future of Lebanon is, uh, is really on the balance right now. Mohammed, thank you. Mohammed Okta uh, speaking there live.